to connect AC power. Remove wing nut to remove bowl. <coughs> Lift off bowl. Remove five Phillips bolts. You may, to use, may need to use a screwdriver to pry off the spring cover. Lift motor plate and motor out. Remove motor plate. You'll need a 3 8 inch nut driver. Discard old motor. Remove stainless steel rod from old motor plate. We'll need a 9 16 wrench. Save the hardware that you use to remove the rod. You may need to place your motor plate in a bench vise to remove the rod. Discard old motor plate. Retrieve new motor plate out of shipping container. To add a little Loctite to your 3H shaft. Tighten 9 16 nut on top of shaft. Replace elastic jam nut on bottom. On this step, you want to be sure that the shaft does not stick through the bottom of the nut. At this point in time, you need to drill a 3 16 hole in line with where the motor cord would go through. Move cover from bottom of the bowl. At this point, you want to mount capacitor under the bowl. Using Phillips head hardware supplied with the kit. And nut and lock washer are supplied with the kit. You'll be supplied with two nuts. You only need to use one at this point in time. Some of them some of them it's going to. You'll need an 11 30 seconds nut driver to tighten this nut up. At this point, you'll want to mount your motor in a vise or something to hold the motor up. Install four spacers. Install new motor plate. Install four elastic lock nuts to hold motor plate onto motor.
Drop new motor and plate onto bowl. Line five holes with the perches. Slide rubber grommet into groove. Reinstall top. Add a thin layer of silicone caulking around spring cover all the way to seal off. Replace five Phillips head bolts. Do not over tighten rubber isolators. If they start to deform, they are being over tightened. At this point in time, you want to add silicone over the extra holes in a motor plate. around motor studs. And the stainless steel rod coming through the center. Here in a minute you're going to want to get it. At this time, install the extra nut on the Phillips head screw to mount the capacitor. This will ground your motor to the whole bowl. Add a little silicone around mounting studs for wires on capacitor. Plug in wires. There is no particular order on the way these wires will plug in. Install new motor weights. Place weights at the end of the motor shaft. Tighten the weight closest to motor. Model 150, set weights at approximately 30 degrees. For model 200, set weights at approximately 20 degrees. Install motor cover. <laughs> 